so we were discussing about uh, how do you represent a uh, signal and what is the medium for propagation this was what we discussed let's just recap of what we done so communication what is the definition of a communication what are the different types of communication and then uh, what are the two types that we talk about the analog and the digital and we also talk about the verbal communication and written communication and electronic mail the chart box and so on and nowadays this information exchange can happen over the internet we have different voice assistants through cellular phones you have so many service providers that are available and they have installed the towers across the different parts of the city and they are catering to the households and uh, i told you when uh, the towers are not located in a proper way some houses will be getting it directly and some houses will not be able to get it so there was a requirement for installation of some more towers and this is how they are going on and this is how the transmission of the signal is taking place through the atmosphere and the atmosphere is nothing but the steel of the electromagnetic spectrum which consists of these things this will come back to it so there is a possibility of interference taking place that's why whenever you are on board and you are on flight you are asked to switch off the voice because there can be interference between the microwave radiation, the sonar radiation and the high frequency sets that we are using and then uh, of course the information is represented by a sinusoidal wave and you represent the signal either with respect to voltage or current and the notation is that uh, the signals which are time varying are represented by a small or a low case and the upper case letters are used, the capital letters are used to represent the maximum voltage of the current and we have just defined about the maximum voltage, maximum current, root mean square values and so on and we have seen how to represent a given signal uh, using this particular uh, graph that we are talking about and here I would like to just talk to you about the phase of, of the motion. So when you are talking about the phase of the motion, so we will be talking about two different uh, or waveforms which differ in phase by 90 degrees that is the voltage and the current uh, is what we were talking about so another thing that I would like to tell you is there are two domains that are existing the two domains are The time and frequency are the two domains that we will be talking about. So the two domains are time and frequency. Okay. So, so the time and the frequency domain that we are talking about are interchangeable. They are interchangeable. Meaning thereby, meaning thereby that theta is equal to omega t. This is a fundamental relation that we start with. So this is basically an angle. And this angle that I am talking about is, is divided into two factors omega and t. This T refers to the time, omega refers to 
this place. So that means angle is a function of omega and t. We will revisit this relation in my next few classes. So now, how do you relate that? To relate that, well, we are talking about a circular motion. And you are, I think you studied this phasor equation. What we talk about is This is how we represent the time or frequency or angle along your x axis and this is your y axis. This y axis can be represented with two. This can be either correct or voltage. So, when you are talking about the circular motion, it makes an angle theta. So, when a body is moving along this direction, what happens is this. 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 It will continue finally. Where will it end up? It ends up with ends up with yes. So it starts from a zero angle. This is ninety degrees. This is one eighty. Okay, and then this is. Two seventy sixty degrees. So what do you say in one complete rotation? One complete rotation. In one complete rotation, the angle that is felt, the angle that is felt, the angle that is felt is equal to three hundred and sixty degrees. This is equal to three hundred sixty. So, so and let us now define a few things. That is the time period. You all know how do you define the time period. This is the time taken. The time taken to complete. One complete, complete rotation. Okay. Circular motion. Circular motion. In a circular motion. And you represent this and you represent time, time period by time period. a capital letter T. Capital letter so, T. T refers to one complete rotation. So if you are representing by means of sinusoidal wave, then this is said to be one complete rotation. 
So one complete rotation one complete is between these two points. So this is this is maximum. This is this is. So this is plus minimum. This is your this is your minimum. So one so one maximum maximum plus plus one minimum one completes one. Cycle, cycle and the time taken t t fine so now so now the reciprocal, the reciprocal of time, time is frequency which is 1 by t this gives you this gives you the number of Oscillations, oscillations may there is k there is no k number of oscillations made in one cycle now uh, where is k ma i am not able to see any k there where is k this graph you cop copied no there is k, there is no k. T, e, F, theta. In the maximum. In the? In the? This one, here is the bridge. So now, here, here, F is equal to 1 by T. So now let us define a certain things here. Uh, let me which color is which color okay, is okay let me see this let me see this so let us try to understand try to the relations understand. between theta, relations theta, theta theta time theta, and frequency This is very important for you to understand uh, the relation between these tricks. So now, in one complete notation, uh, in one complete cycle, the time is given time by is t, t and it is completing how many degrees? It is completing 360 degrees. So the same thing, let us now express it in terms of a radiance. This theta that we are talking is angle in degrees. You can also represent by means of radians. So let me use a different color here. 360 is equal to 5. 5. Then, half cycle. What is half a cycle? Half a cycle is T by 2. This is F. So, since T is equal to F, now the time period has become what? T by 2. So, T by 2 means 2 by F. Okay, let me, I will just come back to it. Let's now do this relation right now. So t by 2, t by 2. That means it should be 180 degrees or 5. T is equal to 
Yeah, I'll come to the frequency a little later. I'll come to the frequency a little later. Next comes. Next comes. Half a second. Half a second. Next comes. Next comes. In between you have. Between you have. One and half. This is complete cycle. This is half cycle. This is half cycle. So let us say three three quarters cycle. Three quarters. Half plus one more. Half plus half plus one fourth. Plus. That means. Half of this that becomes four. What is t by four is equal to? It is ninety degrees, which is pi by two. Then, then half of this, half of this, half of this. That means t by eight, which is forty-five degrees. That means it is pi by four. Next comes. Next comes. So one so t by eight, one quart, one eight, eight, one four, one half, two, one half, and, and uh, we missed something. What else we missed? We missed here. 270 degrees. What will 270 degrees be? So t by 4 is equal to t by 8. Let's start with t by 8. T by 8 is 45 degrees, which is equal to 1. Then Two times of this. That means t by four. T by four is ninety uh, degrees, which is equal to five. This is two times. This is actually two times of t by eight. Then three times of t by eight. Two times of this is this. So that means three times of t by eight. What will you get? Three into 